Welcome to Electro Online. In this case, we have three blocks in our system. We have a force pushing all three blocks. Again, notice that the coefficient of friction is zero, so there's no friction forces, no opposing forces. And what we're trying to do here again is find the acceleration of the system, therefore the acceleration of each block. And then we're going to find the net force on each block. But what we're going to do different here is we're going to use a third technique. So relative to the previous video where we used the first two techniques, here we're going to use a third technique to find the net force on each block. So first what we're going to do is find the acceleration of the system. And so we can say that F net is equal to mass total times acceleration, or the acceleration is equal to the net force divided by the total mass. And again, like we did in the previous video, since there are no opposing forces, this is the only force acting on it, 12 newtons, and the total mass would be 2 kilograms plus 1 kilogram, oop, I forgot the 1, plus 1 kilogram plus 3 kilograms. So that would be 12 divided by 6, or 2 meters per second squared for the acceleration of the whole system, and therefore the acceleration of each block. So now if we're trying to find the net force on each block, what we could do is draw a free body diagram. And so what we can say here is if we take the first mass, M1, and draw the block right here, so we have a 2 kilogram block, and then of course it's sliding over the floor without friction. Let's take a look at all the forces acting on it. So on the left, we have a force of 12 newtons pushing on the block. We have the weight of the block, which is mg in this case, that would be m1g, and then we have the normal force pushing back, which is also equal to m1g, so those two forces cancel each other out. And then there's another force pushing in this direction. Now the question is, what is that force equal to? Well, that force is equal to the force that's pushing against the one kilogram block from the 2 kilogram block. So what we can see here, that there's going to be a force, and let's call it F of 2, or actually, because I labeled them like this, the force from block 1 to block 2, so from F1 on 2. So what is that force? Well, whatever that force is, there's going to be an equal and opposite force in the opposite direction because of Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So the force on block 2 caused by block 1 is going to be the same force as the force pushing back in this direction, where we can say that this is the force on block 1, oh, from block 2 on block 1. So maybe I'll write it like this. These are equal and opposite. Now the question is, what is this force? So we can figure out what this force is, which of course is this force right here. Well, it's the force required to accelerate the last two blocks, block M2 and block M3, at the acceleration right here. So to find that force, we can say F from 1 on 2 is equal to the mass of, of 2 plus the mass of 3 times acceleration. Again, F equals MA. It's the force that's pushing these two blocks to the right and accelerate them at the acceleration that we found over here. So that force is equal to the sum of those two blocks, which is 1 kilogram plus 3 kilograms times acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. And so it's 4 times 2, which is equal to 8 newtons. So since this force is equal to 8 newtons, that means this force is equal to 8 newtons as well, which means this force must be equal to 8 newtons. And now we can see the net force on this block right here. We can now say that F net on block 1 is equal to the 12 newtons minus 8 newtons, which is equal to 4 newtons. Now we can do the same on block M2. So now we can draw another free body diagram right here. Here's block M2, which is equal to one kilogram. And now we've seen from what we did on the previous work that there's a force on the right, on the left, pushing to the right. And we know that that was going to be an eight Newton force. We still have M2G, the force of gravity, and then the normal force pushing back, which is M2G, 2G, 
Oh, there we go. M2G like that. And notice that those will cancel each other out. And then if there's one more force pushing to the left. And the question is, what is this force equal to? And again, what we can do here is we can see here that there's going to be force of M2 pushing against M3. And so this would be F from 2 on 3. And then it'll be an equal and opposite force pushing back, which would be F on 2, or I should say, from 3 on 2. And that would be equal and opposite. And so what is this force equal to? Well, we can say that F... 2 on 3, so from block 2 on block 3, is equal to the mass, m3, times acceleration. So it is the force required to accelerate the third block to the right. And we know that this is going to be equal to 3 kilograms times acceleration of 2 meters per second squared, which means that's equal to a 6 newton force pushing to the right, which means there's a 6 newton force pushing to the left. And then we come over here, we realize that this force right here from block 3 pushing on block 2 is a 6 newton force. So this here can be then called a 6 newton force. And the net force now can be seen to be, let me switch colors here. So now we say that F net on block 2 is equal to 8 newtons minus 6 newtons, which is equal to 2 newtons. And then finally, we can draw a free body diagram for the third block, and let me squeeze it in over here. So here's my third block. And this is M3, and that's a three kilogram block. And from what we did before, we can see that there's a six Newton force pushing it to the right. And there's no force pushing back to the left because there's no other blocks on the left pushing back. So in this case, we can simply say that F net on 3 is simply equal to 6 newtons. And notice, if we add them all together, 4 newtons plus 2 newtons plus 6 newtons, that's together the 12 newton force, the force right here, that pushes all three blocks at the same time. And so that's a third way by which we can find the net force on any one of the blocks in the system, simply by looking at each block separately, draw a free body diagram, figuring out what all the forces are acting in each one. And the key again is, Whatever the force is that pushes against the block to the right is the same force that pushes back because, of course, we have Newton's third law. And that's how it's done.